Hi guys, welcome to part 6 of this Django video series and in this video I'm actually going to talk about the Django static files like CSS files, JavaScript files or images. So let's start and we will actually go, uh, we are actually going to learn how to customize the apps look and feel. So uh, let's first create a directory called static in our old directory. So where we are now. Uh, so let's go to cd change directory to pulse and create a directory called either you can create it like this way or you can simply go and create one from here by using the GUI so I'm going to create the directory called static and Django static files finders settings setting contains a list of finders that know how to discover static files from so we are actually going to uh, create another folder inside the static folder called pulse so it's same like uh, templates actually that's how we were namespacing it so that it doesn't conflict with any other any other folder so even though we were inside the polls we still created another folder called polls inside the templates though we could have got away without creating another one but it will create conflict when we have too many or multiple applications in the same project so the best way is to use this namespacing technique that we use same folder name inside the template or a static file a static folder in this case uh, so inside the polls we have got the static folder now and it's inside the static folder we will create another folder called polls should be there now uh, i'm sorry i need to first get in that folder uh, remove directory Pulse. Uh, yeah, so let's get into static folder and inside that create a folder called Pulse. So if we echo, so this is the location. CD polls. There's nothing in it. So now we've got this polls folder inside the static folder. So let's put the following in the polls style.css. So I'm going to create another file called style.css inside the polls folder. So let's do this. Dutch style.css yeah it's there style.css and we put this so this is basically to change the font color of uh, uh, hyperlink now at the following at the top of the template so let's go to template polls index and yeah so we have added this so this static is actually used to turn this url into the static url or what they call it uh, absolute URL so that's all we have to do now I hope there's nothing else we need to do and let's restart 
the server and let's have a look I'm going to pulse again and we do have that font now if we change it to something else let's do it like uh, something like background background color is equal to this is black yeah so it's now it's taking without um, restarting it I think it probably needed to re needed a restart because um, it really needs to go through all those folders again and find that file okay so we'll uh, put it to green again now adding a background image it's same like that actually that uh, okay let's do this let's create let's download a background mm. should we use Django logo let's use Django logo instead no so we're going to use something from Django definitely but well, there's not a single image here but we can use this one this heart and we can go to Gnalify mm, Django Gnalify Django Gnalify my site balls static uh, balls maybe we will do each another folder here called images and save it here oh it's svg so we can say hot dot svg so now what we have to do is body background is images and heart dot svg yeah we got that so that's how we will actually load images in the um, in Django